In Mark chapter 4, our King and Savior, Jesus Christ, stated that the sower soweth the word. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Well, as we all know, Satan hates the word of God because it exposes him perfectly. So naturally, the one Satan uses to do his bidding on earth will also hate the word of God just as much. And by the way, those that think I am Catholic bashing or making this all up in this series regarding the pure facts and prophecy, please keep in mind, I did not write the history books, nor did I write the Bible. All this information I have shared over the years is well documented on and offline and quite easy to research for yourselves. In fact, I implore you to do so. That's what I did. That's what got me out of the Roman Catholic Church nearly 40 years ago. Because you will find when you do the research, you will realize and have evidence to the fact that the Roman Catholic popes and prelates truly do speak in such a way when it comes to the Holy Bible. As prophesied, and at every chance they get, Satan uses the popes, the prelates, the nuns, and the priests, and even some vocal Catholics to try and taketh away the word that was sown in the hearts of God's people. And as expected, in a local setting, they will declare the Bible good, yes, in your local churches, but in a global setting, they will and have declared globally the Bible is dangerous. Notice just a few comments out of many statements from the Roman Catholic Church that even a babe in Christ can verify as a prophecy fulfilled to the very letter when it comes to what Jesus declared regarding Satan's plan to try and take away the word of God that was sown in the hearts of his people. The decree set forth in the year 1229 AD by the Council of Valencia places the Bible on the index of forbidden books. The doctrine withholds it is forbidden for the layman, or the common man, to read the Old and New Testaments. We forbid them most severely to have the above books in the popular vernacular. The lords of the districts shall carefully seek out the heretics in dwellings, hovels, and forests, and even their underground retreats shall be entirely wiped out. The next quote states, Socialism, Communism, Clandestine Societies, Bible societies, pests of this sort must be destroyed by all means. And then notice this question that was asked of a Catholic priest. The question was, do you allow your flock to read the Bible at all? Said a writer in the contemporary review to a friend of his, a parish priest. And of course the priest stated, no, sir, I do not. You forget that I am a physician, not a poisoner of souls. This next quote states, better would it be for the interests of the church had no scripture ever existed. It would be better had it not been written. And in 1994, it was literally stated from Rome that the Vatican criticized a literal interpretation of the Bible and said the fundamentalist approach to scripture was a kind of intellectual suicide. And just so you know, Thomas More was a man who tortured and killed many people in London. What was their crime? They owned a Bible in English. Worse yet, the Vatican made him a saint in the last century. And then in the year 2000, Pope John Paul II made Thomas More the patron saint of politicians. And so what is the real and quite hidden reason that Satan and his son of perdition hate the Bible so much? It's because of what Paul declared in 2 Timothy 3, verses 16 and 17. He stated that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Thank you for watching. God bless.